Hi, I'm Tim Morley, Century High School uh, Drafting and Technology Instructor. Uh, welcome to Drafting 1 and 2, and today you'll be seeing some of the activities that we're doing in a class. Drafting 1 and 2 is a college credit class at Portland Community College, uh, and it's the main primary focus will be for students entering the field of engineering and manufacturing. Hi, my name's Claire. I'm a junior at Century and I'm currently working with the Oregon Department of Education to create a network that connects technology students from different high schools and states using our program GoToMeeting. So right now you can see across the hall we have our laser printer and it's up. So they can actually run a project on here and other people can view it. I can show a presentation, I can share a PowerPoint. There's many different ways to connect students rather than having to go in between with the teacher. The reason I really wanted to do this is I want to work for Intel someday as an engineer and so not only does this give me experience using technology and actually having to problem solve but it's also a leadership opportunity because I'm the mediator, I'm the one talking most of the time, I'm the introducer so it forces me to be a little bit more social than I usually would be. I've actually gone on my own to the International Women's Day program at Intel and they gave us information to do internships. Um, in the Career Center, Ms. Botham, she connected me with the, the U.S. Ambassador and I actually got to do a phone interview. I wouldn't be mad if I wasn't fine. So I mean, that was cool because I want to somehow involve myself in government too because I think as of right now we have too many politicians that are only politicians. We don't have any engineering politicians, we don't have any doctors and I think it creates a very empty space in their decision making and their spectrum. So I think we should fill that. Hi, I'm Crystal Pace. I've been, I am a junior at Century High School and I've been doing uh, work through OMSI and some representatives there uh, with our 3D scanner that we have here. Okay, essentially most of these are just skull fragments that we've taken. Uh, there's uh, one certain specimen, this is a uh, thalatosaur, which is uh, just one that we have a lot of different pieces of the same subject, but multiple different subjects of the same thing. Uh, we basically, we scan them through here, and then we transfer that data over to um, the slicer program that we use for our 3D printer, and then we just print out what we've scanned. And it, for the most part, it's very helpful for um, people who are extracting the bones, um, because if you have something that's basically it's just a reference point, if you see one part that is very, I want to say familiar. Uh, my name is James McKeel. I'm a senior at Century High School. Uh, I work with the laser a lot. I do all kinds of projects that range from etching into district laptops to district iPads, um, all the way to student iPads. I do a lot of student projects. When they load it up on the folder, I get them to load it up onto Rhino, and then I set it up on the laser and get the laser ready to cut. Um, well, I would love to take this into a career. I mean, I love doing it. I do all kinds of projects just for myself, for uh, my friends. Um, I actually have an airsoft team, and I, I tried the logo on different things. I, I do definitely want to pursue some kind of internship to get me started in the manufacturing industry or computer sciences area. Yeah. Um, I'm just really good with technology. I love it. I'm Mackenzie Vanderzen. I'm a senior at Century High School, and we're currently building scale model houses so far. Mine's the furthest to come along. Um, right now, I only have the exterior walls built, and then this is, this is the garage. Um, we just made these, uh, we cut them out on the laser across the hall. They're just window frames, and then we spray paint, spray paint them, and then just glue them onto the house. Um, we haven't really gotten very far with the interior walls or anything, but we used some thicker wood and we just, we were able to nail it with a nail gun instead of having to glue it so it looks a lot nicer than the ones we've done in the past. My name is Alexis Oceanvine and I'm a junior at Century High School. Uh, this machine is our Hydro System 30M 3D printer and basically we can, it has four nozzles so we can print four different things at a time much quicker than just one. And we use our system slicer to bring our items in and set it up with the material we need and it'll tell us how long the job's going to take. I kind of have two uh, things I want to do. I haven't been excited yet. One is programming and one is drafting things like this and building. And <laughs>